Hello everybody, this is Mahita. Welcome to Smart Education in Your Hands. Today we are going to discuss about Problems on Calendars Part 2. In the previous lecture, we have dealt with how to calculate the problems in calendars and how can we solve calendars easily in a systematic way. If you missed this part 1, then please go to the playlist and watch this video also. After watching that video, continue this video so that you will be perfect in calendars. Okay, let's move on to the topic. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about what are the odd days and what is a leap year and how can we calculate odd days in a given period of time. And we have uh, learned about what are the days and numbers to remember and the months and their numbers to remember. I will explain it once again. Remember like this in a series 033, 035, 614, 625. 033, 035, 614, 625 okay uh, number of years for the year also for 1600 series it is 6 for 1700 it is 4 and 1800 2 1900 0 2000 it is 6 again 2100 to 2199 it is of 4 then again 6 4 2 0 it is it continues like this okay now we are going to solve the homework problem which i have given in the part one okay first step is to write the last two digits of the year that is 99 second step check for leap year 99 divided by 4 write the coefficient 2 times 4 times so 3 odd days there are odd days present so it is not a leap year okay what is the coefficient 24 not a odd day sorry not a leap year third step uh, write the date 19 write the value of the month fourth step is to for september it is five fifth step write the value of the year that is zero now calculating this and the answer is 147 now the final step is to 147 divided by 7 okay 2 times 1 time so reminder is 0 so 0 odd days therefore we can say that 19th September 1999 is Sunday why it is Sunday because 0 odd days okay let's move on to the next question 2nd Jan 2004 Similarly, first step is to write the last two digits of the year 04 Check for leap year 04 divided by 4 And the coefficient is 1 And it is a leap year Because 0 odd days Coefficient is 1 And leap year Remember this fact Leap year Third step Write the date 02 What is the value of the month January? It is 0 Fifth, fifth point, what is the value of the year 2004? It is 6. So, and the answer is 13. Okay, and it is a leap year. Remember that. 13 by 7. Then what is the remainder of 13 by 7? It is 6. 6 odd days. But it is a leap year. So, minus 1. So, the answer is 5 odd days. Therefore, 5 odd days equals to 2nd Jan 2004 is Friday. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. Next question. 20th December 1968. Continue the process. First write the last two digits of the year 68. Second step. Check for leap year 68 by 4. What is the coefficient? 1, 7. 17. Third step. Write the date. 20. Fourth step. What is the uh, value of the month? 0, 3, 3, 0, 3, 5. 5. 5 is for December. 0, 5. And 1900, is, it is 0. So, it is 12, 20. So, 110. And remember this, it is a leap year. 
ओके इट इज़ अ लीप इयर एंड वन टेन वन टेन बाय सेवन ओके लेट सॉल्व दिस देर आर फाइव वॉट डेज बट इट इज़ ए लीप इयर सो माइनस वन देर फोर फोर वॉट डेज आर देर सो ट्वेंटी डिसम्बर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एट इज थर्सडे Let's move on to the next question. Today is Monday. After thirty days, it will be question mark. If the question is like this, then take the period thirty and calculate how many odd days are there. Thirty by seven, uh, twenty-eight. So two odd days. Reminder: odd days means reminder is the odd days. Two odd days are there. So Monday plus two, that is Tuesday and Wednesday. So the answer is. Wednesday. Next question. Sorry, the question is wrong. It is not Jan for two thousand sixteen. It is Jan fourth, two thousand sixteen falls on Monday. Okay, Jan fourth, two thousand sixteen is Monday. Then what about Jan fourth, two thousand seventeen? Question mark. Okay. For if we want to solve this or oh, remember this, for ordinary year, how many odd days are there? One odd day. For leap year, there are two odd days, right? Here, two thousand sixteen is a leap year. Why? Because it is a leap year. See, sixteen by four, zero odd days. So it is a leap year. So we can say that two thousand sixteen. So two thousand sixteen to seventeen. It must be only one odd day. But two thousand sixteen is a leap year. So it has two odd days. Therefore, it is Monday. Wait, Monday plus two. Equals to Tuesday, Wednesday. Therefore, two thousand seventeen, January fourth is Wednesday. Hope you are clear. Next question: If eighth March two thousand sixteen is Wednesday, then what is the day of the week on eighth March two thousand five? If you have confusion related to this, then directly solve this question as eighth March two thousand five. First step, la write last two digits and then okay zero five. First step, second step, zero five by one means one. Okay, zero five by one, one coefficient, one odd day, not a leap year. Then again, what is the day eighth and March? You can solve like this also if you have any confusion. Otherwise. I will give you another shortcut for this question. If eighth March two thousand sixteen is Wednesday, then eighth March two thousand five is. <coughs> we have to move backward. And see here. Two thousand sixteen is a leap year, so two odd days, and then two thousand fifteen one, two thousand fourteen one, two thousand thirteen one. Two thousand twelve one. Okay, what is the question? Two thousand twelve also one. March two thousand five, right? So eighth March two thousand sixteen. So we can say that two thousand sixteen to fifteen one fourteen one fourteen one thirteen one twelve two. Then again. Eleven one ten one nine one eight two seven one six one five one. So how many days? Odd days are there? Two one three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen odd days are there. Okay, so we have fifteen odd days. Fifteen means. Okay, fifteen days. How many odd days are there by seven? Two times, so one, one odd day. Therefore, we can say that 
Wednesday minus one because why it is Wednesday minus one because it is uh, the value of the year is decreasing right so we have to minus one if the value of the year increases then we have to plus one so let's see in this question we have add plus one because 2016 to 2017 so we add the value but here the question is like that from 2016 to 2005 so we have to minus one so Wednesday minus one it is Tuesday Tuesday it is the answer for this question hope you are clear otherwise you can solve the same format 8th March 2005 you can solve it easily in two minutes if you are very intelligent in maths you can solve it in one minute also okay next question Radha celebrated her wedding anniversary on Tuesday 30th September 1997 when will she celebrate her next wedding anniversary on the same day? So same day means we want either 7 odd days or after 7 days or after 14 days. Uh, the day will be repeated, right? Okay, where is it? And solve the question. Uh, what is the day? Tuesday, 30th September 1997. Okay, 1997. How many odd days are there? 1997 so it is a leap year and after the february so 1997 to 1998 one year right so for 98 it is not a leap year so odd is one 99 one 2000 it is a leap year so since it is a leap year oh, sorry century it is two and for 2001 it is one two it is 1, 3, it is 1. You can calculate here that 1, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, on 2003, 30th September, the she will celebrate the, her next wedding anniversary on the same day. That is Tuesday. So, the answer is 30th September 2003. Hope this question is clear for you. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, then please comment below the doubts and I will feel I mean, happy to solve the doubts for you. And thanks for watching and hope you will be perfect in these calendars. And uh, now you can solve any kind of problems related to calendars. Thanks for watching. If you want more interesting videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel and like, share and comment below. Thank you.